Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're finally back out foraging for lobsters and hopefully we can find some beasts. We're out with Brendan tonight. Hopefully we can get a nice lobster to cook up later. So stay tuned, it's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo. It's been a long time since I've been foraging. The last tides, I sort of missed quite a lot of them. So I haven't been able to get out properly. But now, it's time to smash it. First fish of the night, check that out for a mullet. Absolutely tiny, right in the seaweed. Yeah. We've been here, what, three minutes? Yeah. <laughs> nice. It's nice to see the life here already. Check out all this rainbow rack, guys. Looks like me and Brendan are walking through Avatar land. Completely blue everywhere. It's a little bit of a pain because it does hide the lobsters and the bass because you can't see the blue and the grey so much, but Hopefully we can find them tonight. Ha -ha. First one of the night. There you go. First little mini lobster. Definitely not in by any means, but lovely to see nonetheless. Nice little male there. Hopefully we can get that one's great grandma or even a big bass. I'm sort of looking for bass at the moment, but I'll certainly show a few lobsters if I see them. <laughs> see you later, dude. Hello. Another lobster here guys. Look at this little Larry guy, look. <laughs> what a little beast. He really blew that one, eh? Yeah. He's feisty. I'm not gonna bother picking him up. We want his big grandma. Gosh, that's it's gonna be very close. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, isn't it? Literally rough, guys. Back of the eye socket. Yeah, yeah, literally bang on. Yeah, she's in. She's in. Happy right days. on, mate. That's sound. First lobster of the night. Yeah, first actual forage keeper as well. Oh, nice one. Lovely. Happy days. Beautiful. <laughs> Fair play, mate. Just got myself a smelt. Quite a big one that. Look at that. Arthurine smelt they're called. Whoa, 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 whoa. And these are in a massive abundance here. Hence the reason the big bass come in. Really cool little fish. Really shiny. Check that spider crab out. A little camo spider. What they do is they attach the seaweed to them and then they promote the growth to keep camouflaged. And as you can see, this looks like a ball of weed, but really it's a spider crab. Got a lovely sized rockling there. And these things are absolutely delicious. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick him in the foraging bag and we're gonna cook this really awesome creature you get the free bearded and you get the uh the common there's also some smaller species as well but for a common that's a really big one so that's going to go in the foraging bag and hopefully we can get a lobster to match oh i missed him where's he gone oh he's on a runner where's he gone i know he's around here somewhere oh there he is Oh, I don't think he's going to be a keeper. There we go. Another lobster. Another male as well. Just not a keeper. When I first seen him in the hole, I thought he was a lot bigger than that. It's a shame. Nice to see though. That's more like the prawns we want to see. Check that one out. For Guernsey, that's a pretty good size. If you want to, if you want to feed, you got to wait until they get that size. Yeah, you get a nice juicy one. Yeah. I'm going to keep that for now, just in case we find a few more. Beautiful sized prawn, that one. It is such a beautiful night tonight. As you can see, guys, the water is crystal clear. I've seen a decent bass before, but completely fuffled it. I kicked the rock and went flying. And the bass just swam away nicely. <laughs> Got myself another nice sized prawn. Look at that. 
not a bad one at all that's going in the bag i'm gonna have myself a little variety of seafood at this rate <laughs> a little conga there Look, just pat him <laughs> oh yeah a couple more big prawns we'll find some beauties look at that nice chunky ones i'm gonna definitely gather on a few they're just sitting in the weed now and again i'm just swiping at them grabbing a few we have a nice prawn cook up brendan's got another nice one there Few days. Not a monster, but it's a sandwich. Another one for the pot. Yeah. <laughs> what it's all about, eh? Sure. Nice old prawn sandwich. <laughs> Little baby mini lobster. <laughs> Not gonna bother disturbing him. I'm really after these prawns now. Now I've realised there's some big ones around. Definitely want a few of them. Oh, oh now she can go in. That's about the limit. Yeah, we go much smaller than that. No, nah, definitely not. That's right there. That's it, Let's fill the bag up. Yeah. <laughs> More prawns the merrier. Did I get him? Oh yeah, I got him. We found a little patch here guys. With some nice sized prawns. That's not a monster, I'm gonna let that one go. Look bigger in the water. But we're finding some nice sized ones here, so we're just walking our way through, collecting a few. Because these things are absolutely delicious. Check this rock out guys. We've got the abalone there, green ormer, quite a few of them there. Got bean sea squirts. And right here, this purple thing with the white stars, that's called the star ascidian. Then we've got a hairy crab. And they always live on the bottom of the rocks, the hairy crabs. Loads of cool little creatures and life on here. Brendan's on form. Not a bad one. That's not a bad one at all, that. Lovely Look at that. Nice juicy one. These things are absolutely delicious. It's worth getting 20 or 30 of these. Because it does make a nice little meal if you've got something else. Look how hollowed out that is. Yeah. That's a lobster hole. Oh. Wow! I have just found a monster. Incredible! We've just found this massive dugout bit, and we said straight just away, eh? Lobster, eh? Look at the size of the claw on that beast. <laughs> that's that massive. That's huge. That's got to be two and a half pounds. Oh, that. Claws on it. Yes, yeah, massive, big male guys. Look at that. You can tell by the uh, swimmerettes here when they're really solid like that. It's a male. If they're soft. It's a female. That is a solid a lobster. <laughs> I, I'm in shock, I just found that. That's an absolute beast. I could feel it coming out the hole and I was like, oh, it might be a small one. Then as soon as I seen it, look at that. Bam. The dog out there, That's it? huge. All right, I'm gonna band his claws, guys, because I don't want to get pinched by this. That is an absolute out. chunk of a lobster. Check this one out guys, that's a proper lobster right there, that's a monster, solid as anything as well. I'm going to let the rockling go, that's why I kept it alive is because we're constantly wading over our waist, so it will stay alive for ages. I am not eating that tonight, I'm eating this. What a monster of a lobster, big male as well. Absolute beast. It's the biggest one I've found in a long time, that's for sure. Yeah, you're gonna to want to get pinched by that. <laughs> <laughs> You'll lose the crown yeah. jewels, mate, that's for sure. <laughs> Look at that claw. Look how big and thick the claw, that's huge. Oh, Look at that. That is an absolute machine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna to have to like triple ban this thing. I wasn't expecting that though. No, I came not see one the hole, bit, like. mate. This is a strong lobster. Triple banded, eh? <laughs> I can't get over that. I can't believe how big it is. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yes. 
be a shock by yeah, the fan, literally, like, yeah. quality. You do not want to get your finger trapped in this one. <laughs> the little one's fair enough, they're going to hurt, but this thing... Yeah, you're going to feel it for a few days. It's going to take your <laughs> fingertip yeah. off, maybe. God, what a beast. Oh, it's <laughs> I, definitely can't, I can't believe I just found that. <laughs> like, we, we both just went silent. I, was like, I, was, I looked at you, I was like, hey, I wasn't expecting to see that. That is a warrior. That's a proper lobster right there. Solid as it can be. That's a real lobster. Let's get it in the bag. Happy let's, days. Let's let this rockling go. There you go. Little rockling there. Lovely little fish. Kept alive for ages. Now she's going back. Happy days. And this thing is not coming home. <laughs> it's going in my bag. Oh my god. <laughs> Definitely worth coming out for, that's for sure. <laughs> that's a monster, yeah. mate. You're having more than one sandwich, that's for sure. Yeah, literally, mate. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to do with this. Look at the size of it. This was a female. It would have went back, guys. But yeah, because it's a male, it. it's coming home with me. Fair to say we've found some cool stuff tonight. All different sorts of sea creatures. There's baby pollock everywhere at the moment. Give them a couple more months and they'll be about six, seven inches. And they literally just plague the area. But we are on the hunt now. We're just searching around every little pool we can find, trying to find some more prawns and pick up whatever we can along the way. It's so common around here. Look at that. Just lobsters just walking around. <laughs> Way too small. Oh, look, there's another one, two. One there, just walking around, and one just there. <laughs> there's two little lobsters. Just goes to show. Check that out. That's mental. Can we get a hat trick? <laughs> Where is it? Look at that guys. Just walking along there, casually. Oh. That could be a keeper. That's gonna be very close that one. We will see. Nice to find it. Oh, it's a bit soft. That one's a bit soft, that. I don't know if it would have been a keeper. We'll just give it a check. I'm not going to keep it. You can just feel it by squeezing the side slightly. It will start pulling in. And look at that. That one's a keeper as well. Just in. Hey, she's soft. She can go back. Or he, shall I say. We've got his grandpa. <laughs> got myself a giant prawn. Look at that. That's a beaut. Oh no, I dropped him. No. Come back. I got him. That was probably one of the biggest of the day, that. That's one I didn't want to lose. <laughs> Another lobster here, guys. Ah, booyah! That's a nice solid one as well. That's got to be a keeper. Definitely not as big as the old grandpa we got. And she's a nice lobster nonetheless. Or he, he is, shall I say. Yeah, that's in a mile. Oop, nearly got me. And there you go guys, from the back of the eye socket, back of the carapace, that's another keeper lobster, I'm going to keep that one, that is solid, nice big claws on it, exactly what we need baby. Get in my foraging bag, hopefully he doesn't take a chunk out my leg. <laughs> it's always a bit precarious having lobsters like this, because they do get your legs sometimes and it really does hurt. <laughs> Two lobsters down. Back at the car now guys. I got my two lobsters in there and my big old prawns. I didn't get a massive amount of prawns, but you got a fair few, so I'm going to cook them up. So thanks for coming tonight, mate. Yeah, that was good fun, eh? Probably you were... the best forage we've had. Oh, for sure, definitely, definitely together. Like, yeah, awesome. that was one hell of a lobster. Found loads. Yeah, yeah if you want to, if you want to check out his channel, guys, I'll leave the link in the description. Happy days, sea eye fishing. Happy days, what a forage. What you're nearly on a thousand subs, eh? Yeah, we'll be forty away. Can All we right. get him to a thousand subs, guys? I'm sure we can do it. Back in the kitchen now, guys. We've got our lovely lobsters here. We've got the giant beast. Look at that. That's a hell of a lobster. 
What we're gonna do is prepare these now, get them cooked up, delicious. So what we're doing with this lobster guys, we've got a few ingredients here. Got a bit of parsley, got a bit of lemon, butter, some jalapenos, some garlic granules, and salt and pepper. What I'm gonna do is make up a nice little concoction in here, and we'll spread that over the lobster while we bake it in the oven. We've got a nice little bit of parsley there that will go in. We've got our fresh bit of lemon. Nice bit of lemon in there. Well, I make a nice big mess. And we got some jalapenos, or jalapenos I used to call them. <laughs> and there we go. I don't want a huge amount, just so I can uh, put a little bit of spice into the dish. And there we go. Put all of those straight in there with the butter and the parsley. Lovely job. And last but not least, a bit of garlic granules. And we got some lovely salt and pepper. As simple as that. All I'm gonna do is stick that in the microwave for a few seconds just to melt the butter. We'll get it all mixed up. Just about fits in the tray, this thing. Take off the bands. Don't want to be eating that. Make sure you don't put your fingers in there because the nerves are still going. And the last thing you want is getting your finger ripped off by one of these things. Solid lobster. So we've got our lovely mix here. Look at that. And all you gotta do, get a spoon. Yeah, I know you want some too, Smash. You can have some after. That's why I'm not putting it over the claws, bud. All you gotta do is drizzle it over like so. And that's good to go. I'm not doing the claws because I want to give Smash a little bit. And um, I've saved a little bit for halfway through the cook. Just drizzle a little bit more over and it would just impact that, that flavor a little bit more. Check how good that's looking guys. We're almost there now. So all I'm gonna do is get the last of the butter and just smother it over. Oh yeah, just that little bit makes all the difference. Delicious. So we'll give that another couple of minutes in the oven and we're ready to eat. This is smelling absolutely amazing. Really fresh, sort of summer food. You can't go wrong with that. What a beast of a lobster. Just to finish it off, we've got a few prawns just to lay around. Lovely Guernsey prawns. So there we go, guys. You'd pay a serious, you'd pay a serious amount for this in a restaurant, that's for sure. Hey, get down, Good boy. Definitely pay a lot for this in a restaurant. Looking forward to it. This was a big old juicy lobster. You can see the garlic butter just dripping off it. Mm. There's not much that tops that. Oh, nice old Guernsey prawn. Hey, smash. 
I'm good, bud. Let's go and see prawn, eh? Good thing about all the butter leaking through like that, it's like a little dipping sauce when you're eating it. And as you can see, it just falls apart. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. All the flavours just pop. It's a massive chunk of lobster right there. That is crazy. Just gonna put smash a bit aside to cool down. There's still loads in that as well. Oh, I'm in my element right now. This is absolutely jam-packed for me. Look how thick that meat is out of the shell. I know you want some, bud. I'm sweating just picking this up. Stan. Good boy. That is so jam-packed with flavour, it's unbelievable. I'm just gonna grab the other piece of tail. Just look at the juiciness of that. Oh, that bit of parsley gives it that freshness. That really fresh flavour. Especially with the lemon as well. So stay tuned for the next episode, guys. I'm not going to ramble on with this one. I'm just going to destroy this meal because it's absolutely delicious. All the flavours are just perfect. Absolutely perfect as well. So stay tuned for the next episode. We now have merch. Um, I'll leave the link in the description or in the pinned comment. So stay tuned. Feel free to check it out. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe if you're not subscribed. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo. This is good, eh, Smash? Oh, yeah.